Next is uh, disclosure of interest, Councilor Harrison. Yes, thank you, Your Worship. Um, items number 19, 1, and 21 are to the evening item. by Councilor Cannon, second by Councilor Lyson, and the regular council meeting minutes of November 26, 2007, be adopted as circulated. All in favor? Carried. Any discussion? Next is regular council meeting minutes of November the 20th. Do we have a motion? Moved by Councilor Cannon, second by Councilor Lyson, that the special council meeting minutes of November 20, 2007, be adopted as circulated. All in favor? Special Council meeting is number November the 28th. Moved by Councilor Lyson, second by Councilor Flynn, that the Special Council meeting minutes of November 28, 2007 be adopted and circulated. All in favor? I didn't say it was special. Nobody heard it. Discussion? Item 7, Committee Reports, Development and Planning Services Committee meeting minutes. Senator the third with a motion. Moved by Councillor Flynn, second by Councillor Lyason, that the Development and Planning Services Committee meeting minutes of December 3rd, 2007 be received as information. Councillor Lyson? Oh, I just going to talk about something back All in favor? Questions carried. Social Issues Committee meeting minutes of October 16th with a motion. Moved by Council Harrison, second by Council Inzan, that the Social Issues Committee meeting minutes of October 16, 2007 be received as information. In favor? Motion is carried. Discussion? Council Harrison? I just have one um, question about the minutes. Um, I'm sure Council has done that answer. In, in numbers five and six, there's a Mr. Quilty that's mentioned. Is he, is he a member of that Social Issues Committee, or is he a guest there? Uh, I'll check that. Mr. Pilkey was uh, present actually representing the Seniors Activity Center, so he was there at the place of Alice Lewis. I think that may have been an error. Okay. Anything further? Next item is uh, Safe Purposes Controlled Substance Bylaw Committee meeting minutes of November 26th, 22nd. Got a motion? Moved by Councillor Itzan, second by Councillor Kentel, that the Safe Premises Controlled Sub Substance Bylaw Committee meeting minutes of November 22nd, 2007, be received as information. All in favor? Carried. Any discussion? Item 8. One, three for service amendment bylaw number 3668. First, second, and third, we have a motion. Moved by Councilor Kentel, second by Councilor Cannon, that the bylaw three for service amendment bylaw number 3668 be read a first, second, and third time. Corporate services. Your Worship, this is uh, pursuant to Council's adoption of the Downtown Commission's recommendation outlined in the report. Councilor Lyson. Yeah, I'd just like to quickly comment on this. I think it's I think it's great that the, the fines are going up and sure that people are moving their cars is more of a more town to do it. But I also want to remind people how lucky we are to have downtown parking. You know, it's it's uh, it's sometimes scarce. It's free in a lot of respect for that use. So I think we're very unique in San Leon to have such affordable downtown parking. All in favor? Motion's carried. This is the uh, cemetery and then bylaw number 3669, first, second, and third. Councillor Cannon, second by Council Harrison, and the bylaw entitled Cemetery Amendment bylaw number 369 be read a first, second, and third time. Manager of Financial Services. Thank you, Your Worship. Uh, staff is recommending a percent increase to the cemetery rates at this time. As mentioned in the report, um, we will be reviewing the overall cemetery rates and bringing that back to Council in 2008. Thank you. Any discussion? Questions? All, all in favor? Motion. 
is carried. Item 3, Fee for Service Amendment Bylaw number 3670, Mobile Business License. Moved by Councilor Lyson, seconded by Councilor Idzen that the bylaw entitled Fee for Service Amendment Bylaw number 3670 will be first, second, and third time. Or for services? Worship, these are the fees uh, relative to the uh, Mobile Business License Bylaw, which you gave three readings to the last council meeting. Right. Motions or discussion? All in favor? Motion is carried. Item 8 4, zoning amendment by round number 3671. Moved by Councilor Harrison, second by Councilor Kentel, that the bylaw entitled zoning amendment by round number 3671 be read the first and second time. And that final approval will be withheld subject to the following. Number one, approval by the Minister of Transportation. Number two, Cessation of any residential use within the single family dwellings on the subject properties. Development service. Thank you, Worship. The uh, subject properties are located at 1441 and 1481 10th Avenue uh, Southwest, as shown on the screen. And the purpose is, of the application is to rezone uh, both properties from R1 to C3 service control zone. The, uh, the intention um, at this point in time is for the um, the applicant who owns the neighboring building supply establishment, Early Bird Center, to at some point in the future use these two properties for outdoor storage. And um, as part of a future expansion of, of that business, um, the properties are located in the uh, highway service and the tourist commercial uh, designation of the OCP, so the C3 zoning is consistent uh, with that. Um, a development permit uh, will only be required if there's uh, future buildings on the property to use for outdoor storage. There, may, there wouldn't be a specific building permit, but certainly uh, a surfacing of the yard, uh, screening, access, and that sort of thing, as well as some servicing requirements uh, will be required at that time. Should there be any buildings, a development permit would be required in the future. The staff are supportive of the application as it's uh, consistent with the future community plan. Thank you. Any discussion? Councilor Harrison. No, just to say, Your Worship, certainly I'm uh, wanting to move this forward. It makes sense. It's not sure. Uh, some of our one presently in it. Uh, certainly some of the strips of C3 would seem to be the appropriate zone for that, that for those properties. All in favor? Motion is carried. Let's see, we have item 9 1. Consideration of violence. <coughs> Mobile. Mobile business license bylaw number 3665, final reading. Moved by Councilor Harrison, seconded by Councilor Cannon, that the bylaw entitled Mobile Business License Bylaw number 3665 go at a final time. Council, require any discussion? Council, Councilor Cannon, seconded by Councilor Highway closure bylaw number 3655. By Councilor Gibson, second by Councilor Lyson, that the bylaw entitled Highway Closure Bylaw number 3655 be read at final time. Council, I'd ask if there is any uh, comment or input from the public on this particular issue. And perhaps maybe the Director of Development Services uh, to explain it. I thank you, Worship. But this is a um, a city-owned uh, lane uh, that's located just south of 4th Avenue. As council may recall, a development permit for multifamily development has been uh, approved uh, for these two properties. Uh, issuance is, is subject to a number of conditions, one of those conditions being that uh, the lane be closed between the two properties and essentially join the two properties as required for the development to proceed. Um, the area of the lane is about 48 square meters, um, as shown in yellow. and um, as part of that process, about 105 square meters will be uh, dedicated in exchange back to the city in terms of road dedication on 4th Avenue and 3rd Street. Um, we, did, we have not received any public input um, with regards to the advertisements or the notifications that occurred in them. It's our habit to uh, give the public a, an opportunity at this meeting before we vote on it. So if there's anybody who wishes to speak on this, they're welcome to do so. 